Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this month's episode of our 35th anniversary video series. Now, last month we talked about Glock Global and how we've expanded not only domestically, but internationally into a leading global firearms manufacturer. This month, I wanna dive into Glock Strong and how we grow stronger together as a community. Now, to help us answer some questions on this, we have a special guest who is one of the original crew members here at Glock and fully embraces what it means to be Glock Strong. Let's see if we can catch him. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Chad Mathis. He's our Vice President of Operations and he's been here, was he one of the original crew members here? He's been here from the beginning. So what was what was your start here like? I was a young guy out of high school and uh, I had worked, grew up in the area and uh, had heard that a firearms manufacturer in Kansas, Monta, Georgia, which is uh, odd for this area. And uh, this park was just being built. This would have been late 80s. And uh, met Mr. Glock about that time with one of his contractors. And uh, thinking about it a little bit, I said, you know, that's kind of what I'd like to do sure. at the time without any future plans or whatever. And so I uh, started working part time in the late, the late, late 80s, early 90s. When I finished school, um, I started here full time in March of 93. Been here ever since. So, what was your path through Glock since you went full time in 93 to? You know, to where you are now. What was what was that path and growth like? Well, back at that time, uh, the company was small here in Georgia, and we really didn't have job descriptions to say we kind of did what was needed to be done. Uh, whether it was building boxes, uh, assembling pistols, test firing pistols. Um, one day, you know, we'd be building the pistols and taking them to the range, shooting them, test firing them, uh, boxing them, shipping them, and then that afternoon we were a customer doing a demo. Um, we did just a little bit of everything. So do you think having, you know, as your growth through Glock and having, I guess, so many different positions at the beginning, do you think that that helped you like immerse yourself more into the community itself? Of course. Um, when you do a little of everything within the company, um, and the pressure is so high to do it right the first time, you learn how uh, trial and error, right? Uh, least amount of error as possible. <laughs> and um, it, it molds you uh, for future projects, for sure. So what's it been like watching Glock grow over the years from, you know, what we started as to where we are now? Uh, it's an amazing journey. Um, we started, you know, we had about maybe 20, 24 people, I think, here. And watching it grow over the years, it's just nothing but an amazing success story for the product, as long as Mr. Glock, as, as well as Mr. Glock's vision, uh, the way where he wanted to take the company, and watching it happen has been highly rewarding. And you have you have a pretty close relationship with Mr. Glock himself, correct? Yes. What has that relation been like? I mean, I know he was obviously our founder, and you know he brought everything here, and you were one of the original members. What has that relationship been like with Mr. Glock and you know, watching the growth and supporting his vision over the years? He was like a father figure, a uh, mentor. Um, everybody looked up to him, um, listened to him intensely when he spoke. Uh, meant a few words, but most of the times when he spoke, you, you listened and it was something very valuable. Um, he would take us young guys and mold us uh, for what he, we felt anyway, what he wanted to put us in the future. Right. Um, at the time, I may not have understood that. Uh, you could see it a little bit or you could feel it. Um, but looking back on it, you see that he knew exactly what he was doing. Do you think, you know, from his original vision when he created all of this, do you think that vision has shifted or changed at all? No, uh, I think that he knew all along that bringing the, the pistol to the States and uh, the largest you know, handgun market in the world, Right. Um, he knew that what he had was above and beyond uh, what was currently available on the market. And if you put his visions of customer service behind the best product on the market, right, it's right. a recipe for success. And that's been, 
I think that's been one of the biggest things that you know we are known for is our customer service. And I think that's something that Mr. Glock was extremely adamant about. And uh, watching that grow into what we are now, I think it's, it speaks volumes for who we are as a company. Absolutely. It was, uh, that was ingrained in us from the very beginning. And um, it was to work with a customer, be a partner with a customer. Right. And make the customer feel like part of the family. Right. And um, in turn, us learning that in the very beginning, that's we, we trained uh, our predecessors. Right. And uh, still to this day, that's one of the, the main training objectives for new employees. And I feel like that's, since I've been here, I feel like that's a part of the culture here is, you know, the customers first, always being there for the customer and supporting the customer. And that's something that has been very rewarding for me, you know, being a part of this culture as well. Yes. Well, one example of that is that um, it's it's uncommon to pull up in front of a, of a manufacturer like us and be able to bring your product on site mm -hmm. uh, and talk with armors and have it repaired, serviced, cleaned, you, you name it, have sites put on it, whatever, and have it done right then, right, face-to-face uh, -face with one of the employees. And uh, we started that, I think it was in January of 91, and, and it still continues today. So since your career, you've been here 30, 31 years, what has been one of the most rewarding memories that you have being a part of a part of Glock and a part of this community? Back in the early 90s, when we were again, we were building, shipping, and, and training with the with the customers, um, we grew uh, quite quite a bit from the early days, from those days up to about 95, late 95. And in 96, we won the FBI contract with our 40 caliber pistols. And when that happened, it exploded. 20 years later, we won it again. Mm -hmm. And if, if, to my knowledge, that's the, the longest two tenured contracts within the Bureau. And that was probably the one of the highlights of my career. Do you think us winning that contract in 96, do you think that solidified Mr. Glock's vision and where, where the company was going to go in the future? I think it was a big piece of it, uh, was taking that, which we always call the crown jewel. Right. And uh, just also about the highlights, but just to give you an idea of what we did on, this, on those contracts is I took a team of 12 employees, hand-picked employees, uh, good shooters, guys that we knew wouldn't crumple under pressure. Right. And we took those 12 people up to Quantico and we shot 140,000 rounds by hand and loaded the mags in three days. 140,000 rounds. 140,000 rounds. And hand loaded all of the mags. That's great. That's insane. Yep. I I think I shoot that many rounds in the span of three or four years. Yes. And that's what y'all did in three days. Three days. Same pistol? Yes. No, we had uh, approximately 12 pistols. 12 pistols. And um, we loaded, like I said, we loaded all the mags, but nobody shoots that much. Right. Not even us experienced guys, you know, that, that do test firing every day or had, did, had done test firing. It was so bad that if I could barely write with my right hand <laughs> for weeks. I was going to ask, what was, uh, how, how was everybody's hands feeling after no, was, after that demo? It was bruised. Oh, man. There was a lot of bandages. Yeah. Uh, but everybody had a mission. Right. And it was not going to fail. And I think the most interesting, I say that winning it was the most rewarding, but sitting next to Mr. Glock and telling him to his face, right, we got it again. That was, that was one of the better ones. And the, do you think during that demo and or during that test, us winning the contract, it, the team morale had to have been boosted exponentially? Oh, it was. We were there with the, with the other heavy competitors of ours and not only beating them, but taking the signed contract back to the boss and saying, we beat them and we did it by teamwork. That's incredible. And I love to see, you know, the history of that with the teamwork and how strong we or how much stronger we are together. Uh, I think that's really an incredible story because that that solidified Mr. Black's vision. Yes. What do you think since then? What do you think our biggest impact has been 
over the years as a, as a brand giving back to the community. One of the things that we've always been uh, reactive uh, and is, is being able to bring products to the market that the customer wants and listening to their feedback and, and actually showing them that we are listening. Right. So what do you think makes our community so strong and what does Glock Strong mean to you? We have an extremely loyal customer base and we have a unique relationship with our customer in reverse. So it's allowed us over the years to maintain close contact with the people we sell our products to. And it's allowed us to be quicker to the market with the things that the people directly ask for. And it, it's a sense of being a part of something and making them feel like family. Right. That goes on both sides. You know, and I think with our customers, they have a unique loyalty to the brand, but not only a loyalty to the brand, we are uniquely loyal to them as well. And I think that's one of the main reasons for the Glock Strong campaign is because we are stronger together and we are building a community that will always be in support of our customers. Mr. Chad, thank you so much for your time. I greatly appreciate it. No and thank you for letting us know what Glock Strong is to you and what it means for all of our customers. Thank you. I know you're a busy man, so thank you. Thank you. So that's what Glock Strong is. It is building a community that's stronger together, and we will always have this community that's in support of our customers. If you are watching this video by June 6, you will have your entry for this month's prize, with which is a Glock 48. You also have one more entry for the grand prize in December. For more information on the rules and regulations, please visit Glock35th.us, and we'll see you next month.